This is the setup screen for Windows 11. Let's walk through it together. It's my first time as well. I'll click yes to the country that I'm in and we'll see what happens. This was a clean install rather than an upgrade and I'm installing it as a Hyper-V virtual machine. And it seems not to like my keyboard, so I'll just click on skip for now. Maybe it can't get out to the internet, it's hard to say. And that confirms my suspicions. It says it has no internet, so I'll just click on I don't have internet, and we'll figure out why later. I'll choose continue with limited setup. Now we'll put in a name. So make sure that you put in either an email that's going to connect to Microsoft that you're okay with, or just a, any name that you want. I'm just going to put in the letter X, and I'll put in a password. And after doing a confirmation password, now we've got our three questions, which is pretty similar to Windows 10. Whoever it is that you put in for the username, whether it's an email or an individual user, is going to have administrator access to the computer, so just keep that in mind. Now we see the familiar privacy settings that we saw in Windows 10. And I recommend that you turn those off if you'd like to keep your privacy. But in my case, since it's just a test computer, I'll just go ahead and click Accept. And here we see the familiar high, and it's getting things ready for me. And here we see the next screen. It's going to take a few minutes. And now I'm logging into Windows 11. And we see by default, it opens right up into the settings. And we're ready to go. So I'm hopefully going to do a lot of videos on Windows 11 coming up. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a lot of how-to videos. A lot of the common things that we used to do in Windows 10, now that we have to do in Windows 11 a little bit differently. So keep watching.